And on this Thursday, a man now charged with shooting four college students at a party outside the Atlanta University Center Library. Just last Friday, police told us they were still trying to identify two suspects in that shooting, but the man's attorneys claim he tried twice to turn himself in, but the district attorney would not let him. 11 Live's Latasha Givens is live where the shooting happened to explain. Latasha? That's right, Cheryl. Isaiah Williams' attorney say he's tried repeatedly to do the right thing and turn himself in, but right now that's not being taken into account as he sits in jail without bond. His attorneys also say there are other mistakes that are being made in this case. 22 year old Isaiah Williams was not in court for his first appearance, but his attorney argued on his behalf. Williams is facing several charges for the shooting outside the AUC Center Library, where four Spelman and Clark Atlanta students were hurt August 20th. One day after the shooting, police released video of a suspect. They say the man sitting on the bench with a ball cap is Williams. Nine days later, they released video of a second suspect, once again urging anyone who recognized either man to contact police. But Williams' attorneys say at the same time, their client was trying to turn himself in. The appearance is that he's been, they've been looking for him for weeks and weeks when last week, last Tuesday it was. We were here twice, in fact, trying to turn him in. Williams' attorneys say it wasn't until an arrest warrant was issued yesterday that he was finally able to turn himself in. In court, Williams was denied bond. His attorneys believe it's because of a series of inaccuracies in the pretrial service report and in the arrest warrants. First place, he's not a convicted felon. Um, second place, the pretrial services report said that he was charged with non-bondable offenses. Every offense which he is charged with, every one of them are bondable offenses. Bruce Harvey says his client doesn't even have a criminal background, as some court documents state. Absolutely incorrect, 100% incorrect. This is a young man that's never, ever been in trouble before. And that was because they used the wrong Social Security number? That's correct. It's and we reached out to Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard about the claims Williams attorney made and he sent us a statement. It reads in part, it says Bruce Harvey did reach out to me directly after his client tried to turn himself into law enforcement. However, a warrant for his arrest had not been issued, so the defendant was unable to do so at the time. It goes on to say, regardless of the defendant's criminal history or any other issue raised by his representation, Mr. Williams is responsible for firing into a crowd of 200 people and Paul Howard believes he should remain in jail without bond. Now we reached out to APD to find out if there are any updates on their second suspect. They tell us they are still searching for his identity. If you have any information, contact police. All right, back to you. We have those images as always on 11alive.com. Hope they can find that second person involved. Latasha, thank you so much.